Hi, dear students. How are you today? I do hope that again you are doing great to our LMS. Now we are in our Let's Do It Part video session, of course, with Mom Norlin M. Rullion. Okay, now try to observe to our models. Yes, very good. They are what we call sub-level orbitals of the atom. Okay? Actually, nandiyan, uh, meron tayo niyang gamit sa ating laboratory. But of course, we cannot have our face-to-face -face class. Therefore, gagawa na lang ng video si mom. And then, I am going to show you on how to use them. Okay? Get ready your ball pen and notebook and of course, your predict table. Okay? Bye! Okay, so what chemical element is this? Ayan. Of course, we can answer that by using our sub-level orbitals of the atom models kit or quantum models. Okay, so lahat i-co-construct natin ito. Okay, are you ready? And good luck. Okay, welcome to our science laboratory in Tagum City National High School. And I'm going to show you our different materials such as base, rod, and a crossbar. And of course, our following die-cut plastic components representing the orbitals. So we have here a model, our electron, our PZ, PY, our PX, 2S, 1S, student guide, and of course, our teacher's guide. Okay, for our materials, we have here small S orbital or 1S that is equal to color blue. For large S orbital or 2S, that is our color red. For our materials B, P orbitals X, Y, and Z are colors green, yellow, and pink. And of course, for our electrons, that is color black. Okay, please do not forget all of these materials because we are about to construct four different uh, model using our the, uh, using our model kit. Okay, so let's start with figure letter A. In one S sublevel orbital with two electrons. Okay, this is our base rod and our crossbar. Then, remember, it's 1s and 2 electrons. So we have here the blue color as our 1s or our orbital and 2 electrons. Okay. Now, remember that we we'll start tayo sa 1s and then we have to, ayan, ilagay natin dyan. Okay. And then, remember, per orbital is equivalent of two electrons. Maximum of two electrons. But, of course, in an opposite directions. Okay, that's it. Very good. So, this is our figure A, or 1S sublevel orbital with two electrons. For our 2S sublevel orbital with two electrons. Okay, we have here 2S, red color. Yeah, and then we have two electrons, one and two, okay? And again, per orbital, we can occupy or we can occupy it with two maximum of two electrons in an opposite directions. Okay, that's it. 2S sublevel orbital with two electrons. How about this figure C, the P orbitals, Okay. With six electrons. So we have here 2px, 2py, and the 2pz. Remember, there are three orbitals. Therefore, the number of electrons that can occupy is a maximum of six. Okay, so we will arrange it. Remember, our p orbital is in a dumbbell shape. Okay, that's our py and followed by our px. Okay. Ayan. So, parang naglalaro lang kayo ng card, no? Playing cards and figures. And then, we have 2PZ. 
Okay, remember, that is for our Z-axis. Ayan, parang flowers. Ayan, maganda, di ba? Yung model natin. Now, this time, we are about to put a crossbar to indicate our different position ng electrons. Anong position ng electrons? Opposite direction. Okay, so dito nyo makikita yung pag-distribute ng electrons to our P orbitals. We have here, opposite, Okay, ayan. And then, next, for our another two electrons in an opposite direction. Okay, good job. And of course, do not forget the other one for the z-axis, that is two or the, those are two electrons in an opposite direction. Okay, that's our figure letter C. How about this figure? 1s, 2s, 2px, 2py, and 2pz, sublevel orbitals, combine, take note, combine. So we are about to use 1s with 2 electrons, 2s, 2 electrons, and for our p orbitals with 6 electrons. Okay, ready? Let's start with 1s with our color blue, and then we are about to uh, yeah, distribute electrons in an opposite direction. Okay, very good. Followed by our 2S, that is red color. And, and of course, our two electrons with opposite directions. Okay, are we done? Of course, not yet. So we are about to arrange this P orbital. So remember, dumbbell shape. Ayan, i-insert lang natin dito yung ating plastic component, no? Okay. Oops, dahan-dahan lang. Ito yung medyo mahirap na part kasi talagang dahan-dahan natin i-insert yan para hindi magda-drop yung mga electrons. Okay, careful. Yan. Slowly but surely. Okay, are we done? Not yet kasi meron pa siyang 2PY or 2P, uh, 2PX. Okay, for the green color. Okay, and then another one. Ayan, kasi dumbbell shape yan, ha? P orbitals. Remember, this is now in the P orbitals. So, makikita nyo yung complexity ng ating electrons. And the last but not the least, our Z axis. Ayan. So, parang gumagawa tayo ng color wheels. How are we going to distribute these electrons? Yan yung, yan yung tanong na lagi nating, ayan, laging binibigay ni ma'am, paano ba din distribute Of course, you have to be careful that it must be placed in an opposite direction. So, ayan, that's it. So, our figure letter T. Okay, how about a hands-on activity for hydrogen? Its electron configuration is 1s1. How are we going to visualize it? Of course, by using our model kit, our blue color, and how many electrons? One electron. How about the lithium with three electrons? Ang kanyang electron configuration is 1s2, 2s1. Okay, so how are we going to Visualize it by using our model kit. So, blue color as our 1S. And how many electrons? Again, again, and again. Do not forget per orbital diagram. Oops. Okay. It can occupy two electrons. Maximum of two electrons. Now, the next part, yung 2S. Okay. Ma'am, bakit meron yung mga dumbbell shapes? Okay. Just let it be, no? So, be it, ang importante dyan, yung electron na ipapasok natin. So, saan ilalagay si electron? Ayan, very good. Kay S. Okay, kasi kay lithium, 1S2, 2S1. Okay, that's for our lithium. For the nitrogen, ito. With 7 electrons, we have 1S with 2 electrons, 2S with 2 electrons, and for our P orbitals. Okay, 2px, 1, 2py, 1, and 2pz, 1. Okay, so by using our model kit, we can visualize it by, ayan, 
Ayan, tingnan nyo ha kung paano ang ginagawa natin dito. Okay, given na yung 1S and we have 2S. Okay, opposite direction, dalawang electron. Sa P orbitals, ipafollow lang natin. Si Px, ilang electron, isa. For Py, okay, ilang electrons dito, isa din. Okay, so remember, nakikita nyo yung distribution ng ating electrons. Okay, ito yung ini-emphasize ng ating model kit. And of course, for our Pz axis, that is for one electron. Ayan, very good. So, dyan natin makikita yung distribution ng electrons ni nitrogen. Now, try about this uh, question. What chemical element is this? Now, using this data or figures. Of course, you can only add the number of electrons. Then, you can able to find it or locate it in your predict table. But again, we are going to visualize using our model kit. 1S2 Okay, then we have our different, no? 2S at saka yung 2P, okay? So, for our 2S, we have 2 electrons. Yung 2PX natin, ilang electrons? Dalawa. Okay, very good. And then for our 2PY, we have 1 electron. Okay, that's it. For 2PZ, isang electron. Okay. So, that's how are we going to visualize it. Yung tanong, anong chemical element ito? I know you get already the answer, but of course, the correct answer is oxygen. Very good. Having eight electrons. If going to observe, ito pala yung itsura, no? itsura ng mga electrons ni oxygen using by our model kit. So, actually, this is how quantum mechanical model of atom is being emphasized and being elaborated by our scientists. Okay? So, actually, hindi man yan natin ma-measure yung exact location ng ating electrons, but the most important is we can able to locate the probable arrangement or locations ng ating mga electrons. Again, ha, this is just for visual, okay? Hindi talaga dito mini-measure kung ilang distance, ilang millimeters. It's just only a qualitative visual of our oxygen 8 electrons in quantum mechanical model. Okay? So, that's it. I do hope you were able to learn something in my short video. And thank you for watching and learning with me. Always remember, keep moving forward. I am your teacher, Nori, of Tagum City National High School. Again, one of your Science 9 LMS course creator. And of course, I would like you to like and to subscribe our YouTube channel or my YouTube channel for learning, more learning future in chemistry and i would like also to thank to one of my co-teacher in science 9 mom theresa may bermudez for keep you know, updating me and supporting me in this video and goodbye